Hi, welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a box around your text that's already within your document. I'm also going to be showing you how to insert a box and some text on top. In addition, I'm going to show you a more flexible way and customize that box and text. And then finally, how to insert an image or a photograph and insert some text on top. So the very first thing I'm going to show you is to go to insert shapes, click on the drop down, click on the rectangle, the square, then click and drag out a shape. Then with the shape selected, go to shape format, go to shape fill, click on the drop down and select no fill. Go to the outline, which is here, click on the drop down. I'm going to select black. Then I'm going to select the drop down again. I'm going to go down to weight and then I'm going to select two and a quarter points and then deselect and there you have the box. Now this is quite versatile because we can move this around any way we want to. We can resize it and we can also resize it to cover just the text that we need. We can also use our arrow keys to move this up and down, left and right. But don't forget if you want to change the color of this background then just simply select it Go to Shape Format, go to Shape Fill, click on the drop down, and then you can select from any colour you like. Let's select grey. You can see obviously now the colour has covered the text, so what you need to do is select it. Go to Wrap Text, click on the drop down, and select Behind Text. And there you have that box behind the text. Now that's obviously if you're typing something out and you just want to put a box around text within your document. However, the next thing I'm going to show you is to go to insert text box, click on the drop down, select all text box and click and draw out the text box. Here you can just put your text in and if I deselect you can see I've got a black borderline and a white background. You can get rid of both of those or you can customise them. So select the box, go to shape format and once again you can select a fill colour and you can also select a border colour, doesn't matter what it is, and then you can also select the weight of that, let's go to 3, and then you can see that a little bit more prominently. You can also select the box, go to the Home tab, select this Increase Font Size tool, and then you can increase the font to suit your needs. And again, you can go to this icon here, which is Centre Text, and then it's neatly all inside that box. Now whilst this is really quick and simple, if you want a little bit more versatility, then once again you can go to Insert, Shapes, click on the drop down and click out a rectangle. Then go up to Insert, go to Word Art and click. Click on any of these that you want, but I'm going to click on this first one. Bring that down and then I'm going to click inside, select Command or Control A to select all the text. And then I'm going to select this text box and just pull it down. Once again, go to the Home tab and increase the size of that text. I'm then going to press the Return key. There we go. And then I'm just going to centre that text once again. Just take that down. Now, the reason you have flexibility with this technique is because in this box here, if we select it, go to Shape Format, go along to Format Plane and click. So now we're left with a lot more customization options, including Gradient Fill. So if I click on that, you can see we've got a slider down the bottom here with two markers. You can move these sliders, and if I move the green towards the middle, I have more green in my box. And if I move the yellow one, you can see again how that adjusts. You can change the colours by selecting the marker, going to colour, clicking on the drop down and selecting a different colour. You can add markers with the add button or take them away with the minus button. You can also change the direction of the gradients. You can have radial gradients and you can have rectangular gradients. And also changing that direction will also change the look of your gradient. So I'm just going to keep it on linear and we'll keep the direction left to right. There we go. Now, in addition to this, we've also got shadows. We can also add a shadow to this box as well. So if you need a shadow for your text box, you can use that. And then we've got all these sliders as well that will make all those adjustments. 
In addition, if we click on the text, because it's word art, we've got a lot more text options here. And so if we click on these, then again, we've got all of these options with shadows, reflections and 3D formats. And also we've got a gradient fill for our text as well. You've also got a text outline and also you can use a solid outline. Let's go to white. You can see now how that has an effect on the text. And also you can have a gradient line as well, which is not offered if you use normal text. So I'm just going to select no line for now. If you want all of this to be perfectly aligned, select your text box, hold down your command or control key and select the box behind. Go to shape format, go to align, select align to center and then align to middle. And if you want it to work together, you can group it by going to group. And now it's just one group. You can undo that by simply selecting ungroup. But then you can move this text box anywhere in your document. So that's the third way. And the final thing is to insert your text onto a picture. So let's select from our stock images. You can select from your files. Let's select this image here. When you insert an image, you won't be able to move it. So select it, go to picture format, go to wrap text and select in front of text. There we go. Let's just move that here so we can see it. And then once again, we're going to insert a text box, go to text box, draw text box. And once again, we'll go straight over the top here. Select it, go to the home tab, increase the font size, center it, shape format, take out the outline, take out the fill, and then there you have your writing on an image. Once again, you can select them both by holding down the command and control key and then simply going to align, align to center. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.